What's up and good day mga kahabi As you can see it is really very wet here in our place Because it's been raining for 2 days and we expect more rain for the coming 2 days Because of the tropical depression But the question here now is do we still feed our fish when it is raining? So disclaimer also that this is based on my experience and practice and as you can see, we have already fed our koi and regularly we feed them 3 to 4 times a day. But now we just feed them twice, one in the morning and then another three in the afternoon. But for this goldfish, since this is a grooming entry competition goldfish, we are still feeding them 24-7. We are giving them a balanced food. So currently we are feeding them with pellet so this is a high quality pellet that will not cloud the water and then as you can see that the pellet is still intact even if this is placed more than five minutes already but if you have to be fixed worm that would be better compared to a pellet food because if not consumed to be fixed will just strive in your aquarium and live and then repopulate Unlike pellet food that if the fish will not consume it, you have to siphon it. I don't recommend any brand of pellet food but I do suggest to try different brand of pellet food and then assess what works for you. But what I consider when buying a pellet food is that the fish intake must high and then it must not cloud the water. Since we are feeding them 24-7, so it is very important to maintain good water quality. So what I am doing now is that we are doing drip irrigation from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. And then this water is direct from water district or from the faucet. So you must have to be very careful. I think I might or I will make a different video how I do it. Before, I'm not using any chlorine remover and then it works fine but now, in addition, just to be safe, I'm adding or using already chlorine remover. And then daily also, as you can see in my first chamber or my settlement chamber, there's no poop or leftover food sucked in by the water pump. That is because daily, I do siphon the leftover food or dirt in the first chamber and then in the weekend we clean thoroughly the sponge filter or the or the filter in the first chamber so in our pond so we have here three four by seven feet by two feet in the pond so in the first chamber we have here the filter brush and then in the second chamber we have here the talabashel and then in the third chamber we are just using a flexible hose cut into small pieces and then for our last chamber in our fourth chamber we are using or we are putting uv light so that it will help us to have a clear water and then kill off bacteria that might be harmful to our fish Above our pond filter is our goldfish roaming tank and then as mentioned that we are doing drip irrigation so those overflowed water will go into our fourth chamber and then which will act as new water to our koi. We are no longer doing water change to our koi but every weekend we do clean the first chamber or the settlement chamber and then we replaced the siphoned water so i think that's it mga kabi since it's raining again and then if you are new to my channel please support it by clicking the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified to my upcoming videos thank you keep safe and happy fish keeping